Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will do exam questions and answers on the poem Felix Randall by Gerard Manley Hopkins. Let's look at question one. How does the description of Felix Randall as a mold of man in line two suit his occupation? For two marks. So it's important to always note the mark allocation to know how much you should write. And if you look at the questions, you can often break the questions down into separate parts and then answer each of the parts so that you make sure you answer the entire question. So let's see, how does the description of Felix Randall as a mold of man in line two suit his occupation? I would split this question into two parts. I would first explain the description of Felix Randall as a mold of man, and then I would say how this description suits his occupation. Let's look at the answer. A mold creates the perfect shape. By describing Felix as a mold of man, the poet is suggesting that he is the typical image of how a man should look. He is well built. Take note that I use the keywords from the question in my answer. Let's look at the second part. It also hints at him being a farrier. So here I mention what Felix's occupation was. And I say that it hints at him being a farrier who uses metal molds to make horseshoes. So here I relate the description given to his occupation. And there I get my two marks. Felix Randall's illness affected him in two ways. Explain. So here I know that I have to mention two ways in which the illness affected him and I have to explain each of them. This counts two marks. The illness affected Felix physically. Now my explanation follows. His body became weak due to the effects of the illness. Now I have to mention the second way. This caused him to be affected mentally. Now my explanation follows to the point where he could only ramble incoherently. And that should give us the full two marks. Discuss the speaker's observation in line nine with reference to the sonnet structure of the poem. So here we can see that we are going to have to comment on the structure of the poem in order to answer this question. And we have to mention what observation the speaker makes in line nine. Let's look at the answer. Line 9 is the start of the sestet, so here we are discussing the structure, and therefore indicates a change or turn, otherwise known as the volta, in the speaker's attitude. So we see a change in attitude, and this is a typical characteristic of the structure of an Italian sonnet. So now we see a change in the speaker's attitude. We have to discuss what the speaker's attitude was in the octave, so before line 9, and we have to discuss what it is after line 9. Let's see. Initially, in the octave, the speaker's focus is on his professional duties. He reveals how he performed his priestly duties by anointing Felix and offering him the prospect of God and eternal life. So this is what happened in the octave, and it also comments a little bit on the tone of the octave. It was professional, detached distant and cold. Now we have to discuss the sestet. In the sestet, the speaker's attitude and focus changes when he describes his personal relationship with Felix Randall. He cared for him on a personal level. The speaker makes the observation that he has become compassionate because of his personal interactions with Felix Randall. So here we've successfully mentioned what line nine is. It's a change of turning the poem. And we have addressed what happens before the change and after the change. And therefore we should get our full three marks. How does the speaker's memory of Felix Randall in lines 12 to 14 create the final tone of the poem? So here we have to mention what the memory was that is being described in lines 12 to 14. And we have to comment how it helps to create the final tone. This is for three marks, so we have to do a lot of explaining. Lines 12 to 14 depicts the memory of Felix Randall being a powerful and strong man shoeing a great grey dray horse. The poet chooses to remember him as healthy and strong instead of broken and sick. The final tone is therefore optimistic. So our first two marks are for explaining the memory and our last mark is for commenting on the tone and saying that it is 
optimistic. In line one, the speaker says, my duty ended. In your own words, explain what his duty had been. And here you need to have some context of the poem. The speaker's duty as a priest was to visit Felix and comfort him by reminding him of the Christian belief in eternal life. His duty also involved anointing Felix to prepare him for death. So the priest did two things. It was his duty to comfort and to counsel the sickly. And that's exactly what he did. He reminded Felix of an eternal life. He comforted him. And he also anointed him and prepared his soul for the afterlife. What does the word pining in line 3 suggest about the effect of Randall's illness? So we have to define what pining means and we also have to discuss the effect of the illness on Randall. The word pining means to deteriorate physically or mentally. And this tells us that Randall used to be a strong and powerful man. But then his health deteriorated and he became weak and wasted away because of the illness. So this shows us the effect that the illness had on Randall and it also emphasizes the meaning of pining which means to slowly decline in health. In line 5 the speaker says sickness broke him. Describe how Randall managed to find peace in his last days. This is for two marks. So here we see that Initially, Randall had feelings of anger and fear. When he found out he was sick, he was impatient, he cursed at first. So this tells us he was angry, he was fearful, but it then continues to say, but mended. And that means repaired, healed or cured. So he was helped or comforted by the priest's message of salvation and eternal life. He was comforted by the priest's words and by the priest offering him sweet reprieve and ransom. So that means the hope of eternal life going to heaven. But he was also comforted by the priest anointing him and preparing him for death. Refer to lines 9 to 11. Explain what the speaker means in line 9. So we'll have to read line 9 and then discuss the meaning. The speaker says that looking after a sick person causes one to become fond of them. It causes you to love them, to become close to them. You get sympathy. But it also causes the sick person to love the carer. So the sick person shows appreciation and gratitude towards the carer. Comments on the appropriateness of the word child in line 11. This is for three marks, so we need to explain it in detail. Randall was a strong independent adult, but his illness caused him to become weak and vulnerable like a child. This shows us how his health declined. He was strong, but now he's weak, just like a child would be. They need extra care. The speaker became affectionate towards Randall while he was ill and cared for him like a father. He wiped away Felix's tears and comforted him with his words, which is something a father would do. The priest had great pity and compassion for him, so it is therefore appropriate for the priest to feel fatherly towards Randall. The last three lines end the poem with a positive upbeat tone. Would you agree with this statement? So you have to say yes or no. Justify your response by referring to diction and imagery. We have to pay attention to word choice and the images given to us by the speaker. So yes, instead of describing how weak and sick Randall had become, so diction, he leaves us with an image of how powerful and capable he had been in his younger days. And he gives us an image. And now we comment on the tone and we say, the ending therefore leaves us with a positive feeling of admiration for Randall. Quote the phrase from the poem, that tells us of the speaker's belief that Felix Randall's soul had been saved. So guys, take note here. It says to quote the phrase from the poem, which means you have to use inverted commas and you have to quote it, write it down, and then explain its meaning. Sweet reprieve and ransom tended to him. So now we've, we've quoted it, now we have to explain. The speaker's use of reprieve and ransom indicates that he believed Randall was saved because reprieve means 
comfort and relief, the forgiveness of sins, and ransom means the Christian belief that Jesus Christ died for our sins and paid it all so we could have eternal life in heaven. So maybe just explain that a bit more. Relate the physical decline of Felix Randall. Relate here is just another way of saying elaborate, explain in detail. So we have to explain in detail how Felix's health declined. Initially, in the beginning, Felix was a strong, hardy, handsome man. He was powerful amidst his peers. When Felix became ill, he became physically weak. So evidence of that is pining, pining. He then was killed by the illness. It broke him. So here we explain the entire process, the entire journey of Felix's health. He was strong, hardy, handsome, big boned. He was doing well. But then he got sick. And he started pining, pining, which means his health deteriorated. And then the illness eventually broke him. It killed him. Comments on the poet's use of tone in the poem. Provide evidence from the text to support your answer. So here we have to comment on the use of tone in the poem, but we also have to provide evidence. We need to quote from the poem to prove what we are saying. Initially, the tone of the poem is detached and unemotional. And this is when the speaker hears the news of Randall's death. He responds by saying, my duty all ended. And this is our evidence. The octave shows how Randall's health declines and how he finds comfort in his faith. And the speaker seems to adopt an accepting tone. The speaker comes to accept the death and he says, ah, well, that is our piece of evidence. Now we see a contrast. The sestet reveals the speaker's feelings of loss and pain, and this creates the tone of grief and loss. And our evidence is, thy tears that touched my heart. So here we see the speaker actually is mourning. The poem then ends with an optimistic, nostalgic tone when the speaker remembers Randall or Felix when he was healthy and strong, powerful amidst peers. So that is our piece of evidence over here. And this shows us that it ends on a light-hearted tone. The poet chooses to remember Felix when he was healthy and strong. Refer to line one. Oh, is he dead then? My duty all ended. What impression of the speaker is created by this question? So this seems similar to the last question, but the focus of this question is on the impression created by this line. Let's see. The speaker creates the impression that he is unaffected because he is casual when asking about Randall. Instead of saying, oh no, and start crying, he responds by using a matter-of-fact tone, detached tone, and he just asks, oh, is he dead then? And then we explain why he reacts this way, and we say that it could be because Felix Randall had been ill for a long time, and the priest sort of expected him to die. Refer to line three, pining, pining, till time when reason rambled in it, Explain the effect of the repetition in this line. So we know that the word pining, pining is repeated, and we need to explain what effect this repetition has. The repetition emphasizes the slow and ongoing negative effect that the illness has on Randall's health. Pining means to decline in health physically and mentally. We know in the poem that... Um, that Felix died months later, so we know that it was a slow process and the repetition emphasizes that. It then continues to say it is both physically and mentally draining. It could also emphasize the fact that he is slowly losing his ability to function normally and we see evidence of this when he says reason rambled in it. Okay guys, I hope this has helped you revise for your exam. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.